Um, again, my name is Chad Rogers. Uh, I'm the Public Information Officer for the Pearland Police Department. Appreciate y'all being here. We have a update we would like to announce, and we're really asking for the public's help um, in the shooting investigation that happened at Coles Flea Market last night. Uh, just to recap last night, around 5.34 p.m., Pearland officers were dispatched to Coles Flea Market at 1014 North Main in re reference to a report of shots fired. When they got there, they located five victims. We had a 10-year-old Hispanic male, a 14-year-old Hispanic female, a 37-year-old Hispanic male, a 16-year-old Hispanic male, and an 18-year-old Hispanic male. Um, they were all transported, sorry, transported to nearby hospitals. Um, one of the victims, the 10-year-old boy, he passed away at the hospital. Um, preliminary investigation revealed that there was a disturbance, some type of altercation that occurred at Coles Flea Market between two Hispanic individuals. During the course of that altercation, shots were fired, exchanged between at least two handguns. Uh, we can confirm that the weapons used were handguns. Um, we believe between two or three handguns um, were used during the course of, of the firing that was going on at that time. We're uncertain to the number of rounds that have been fired. Again, the scene is still being processed by our criminal investigation division. As you all have seen out there today, it's, it's still a very active scene. Um, I can tell you that the 10-year-old, the 14-year-old, and the 37-year-old victims were innocent bystanders caught up in the crossfire as a result of the altercation. The 16-year-old and the 18-year-old males um, are continuing to be looked into into their involvement into the shooting that happened at Coles Flea Market. And again, they're being actively investigated into their role, if any, in the, uh, what happened there at Coles Flea Market. Here's where I need y'all's help. At this time, there is an active arrest warrant issued for Na David Negrete, 310 of 2004, for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He should be considered armed and dangerous. We're asking anyone with any kind of information about his whereabouts to contact the Pearland Police Department tip line, 281-997-5828, or Missouri County Crime Stoppers at 1-800-460-2222. Um, we just posted on our social media photographs. Again, there's several photographs of, of Mr. Negrete, um, and we're asking the public to please help us find him. Um, I was just told that Texas Crime Stoppers um, in conjunction with Governor Greg Abbott's office, has offered a $15,000 reward uh, for the arrest and capture of Mr. Negrete. So again, this is very, very important for us that we get this uh, person into custody as quick as possible. Uh, the uh, investigation, our detectives have worked all night um, to put this information together. They are continually to uh, develop leads and more information. We're so thankful for the public's help leading up to this point. Um, and that's all we have at this time. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, Chad, were you guys able to get this guy suspect um, based off of surveillance footage or was the tip that came in through that tip line? So combination of the interviews that happened with witnesses and victims um, as well as uh, surveilling footage that they had there at the scene um, has identified uh, this gentleman um, as one of the persons we need to locate and put into custody. It's uh, at this time he is identified as one of the shooters, yes. What can you tell us about his criminal history? I don't know anything about his criminal history at this time. Again, we're mainly focused on getting him into custody as quick as possible. So do we know, was he the only one who fired a weapon? No, we believe there's at least one more, if not two other people that actually had handguns and may have fired those firearms um, during the scene, yes. So does that mean that one or, like, the other shooters would have been one of these other people who y'all are still talking to, or so, other Yes, as, as previously stated, um, we're looking into their involvement in the shooting. Obviously, if we get more information, we'll put that out to you guys. But you do believe that at least one of those other people had guns and fired the We're looking into their involvement. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, so three possibly three suspects? Possibly three suspects, yes. Okay. At the beginning of the first one, you said how many were involved in the shooting? Like we had five victims that were shot at the scene, three of which are considered innocent bystanders. Two, the 16 and 18 year old were also shot. We are looking into their involvement further into the altercation that happened there at Colston Market. But the altercation, was it like a larger? No, it appears to be between a small group, like two people, two to three people, and you had other people there. It was the closing time for the flea market. There were people there going about their regular day when the shots were fired. I don't have any of that information, no ma'am. And so you believe this suspect who you were looking for was also shot? The suspect we're looking for, we have no information that he was shot, no. Chad, 
Yeah, we just kind of talk about, I mean, it's, we're close to the holidays. I mean, this is a flea market where mm -hmm. thousands of people kind of come. And unfortunately, yeah. a 10 year old little boy lost his life. Kind of talk about how this is, this is tragic for the city of Fairland. Uh, extremely tragic for the city of Pearland, tragic for Coles Flea Market, tragic for all the families that attend that flea market, tragic for the families that work at that flea market trying to provide a living for their, for just, like you said, the holiday times. Um, and to know that this senseless act of violence, whatever caused it to happen, which we will figure out what caused it to happen, um, is, is extremely sad. Um, it's, it's tragic. That's the exact word that took place and senseless. Tragic and senseless, and that kind of stuff doesn't happen in Pearland. Um, and it's it's a very sad day. What are y'all going to do next? I mean, is it going to keep the flea market back on it to open up again this weekend? I'm not sure. I know the scene has been still locked down. Uh, eventually, that'll get released, and we've processed it completely. Um, it'll be up to the flea market to determine how they uh, how they proceed. Um, I know there's a lot of livelihoods that are dependent upon that flea market opening again. I don't know his criminal record. It's my understanding he is fairly local to the Pearland area. Uh, I don't have a current address. Um, again, the main thing I need you guys to do is help us push that information out to try to find him. And I apologize if you said that, but the, the other people who were shot, do we have any idea how they're doing? Are they all expected to survive? Uh, my understanding from what I was told is that um, I don't know which ones had to go through surgery. My understanding is uh, the 37-year-old Mel, I believe he was released. Um, the 18-year-old person um, that I spoke of, the male, I believe he was being released today. I'm not sure about the other uh, the other minors. Uh, I don't want to speak on on their status at this time. Why is that? You know, the governor out of his office sent out a release saying that they're going to offer the state of Texas is offering you 10,000. Uh, do you know why the state is kind of investing in this case? I'm not sure. That was information I got literally as I was walking out the door just now. Um, so you would have to look more into it, but. Um, a 10-year-old child was killed in a senseless manner, so any support we can get, whether it's financially or the public, is very welcomed in this case. Again, we deserve justice for, for this young person. Do we know the, uh, the immigration status of the suspect? I don't know that. I know in the governor's press release he had mentioned that this person could be our biggest and most wanted fugitive. Do we, are you able to confirm anything like that? The post that you're talking about, I literally found out before when I walked out the door. My guess is that he's high on a priority list because this person is responsible in some way possibly of the death of a 10-year-old child. I would think that ranks pretty high on a most wanted list. Of course. Yep. I mean, how difficult was it for you guys to, to do this and obviously tell this mother that her baby was killed? Um, I don't think there's anything that can prepare you for it. Our uh, investigators and officers are extremely professional with this department, but yes, we have families. Um, there's a job that needs to be done, um, and, and these, these men and women step up every day, and they understand that it may be something they have to do. Um, but do you all have kids? Okay, so just put yourself in the shoes of those officers. It, there's no easy way. Nothing prepares you for having to make that conversation, okay? And is it possible that this suspect could face murder charges? Again, this is the initial charge that's out there right now. That can always change depending on how the investigation unfolds. And these are some young guys. I mean, we're talking about a 19-year-old suspect. The two that are involved, they're 16 and 18. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they obviously, somebody had a gun. So yeah. it's, I mean, these are young kids. There's consequences when you, you have weapons and you go mm -hmm. to a flea market where there's thousands of people. I could not say it better myself. You're absolutely right. That's information I heard. I have not been, uh, it hasn't been confirmed to me. And because y'all are still interviewing him, is he going to be released or is he going to be brought into questioning? Um, I'm not sure. Um, the investigators, that's that's their thing. Like I said, they've been working all night. Uh, I don't know if they've slept at all, um, but I am promise that's something they'll be looking into. Do you know if any of these five people were actually like working at the market? I'm not sure the status of them. I know it was during closing time, but I don't I don't know what they were doing there. And are you guys going to release the names anytime today or later this week? I don't have the names. Um, that's something we'll have to figure out with the investigators um, whenever that time comes. As far as um, calls to that flea market, do you guys get a lot of calls to that flea market? Is that a busy spot for you guys? I think, I mean, there's a lot of traffic that goes there, but violence like this doesn't happen at that, that flea market. Go public live.
do we know how they were related? Are they related? Is it one family, three families, five families? I don't, I don't know the relation between the victims at this time. I, I think that's that's why we're here um, is to reach out to this community, the Pearland community, the Houston area community, and, and, and help this guy get into custody. Again, um, there's a long investigation ahead, but we need to find him. There's a reason why the warrant has been signed, and we're asking for y'all's help. Chad, do you, do you guys have a number of tips that came in through that tip line from yesterday? We've been getting calls on, I guess, on the tip line on social media. I don't have a number or exactly what's been said um, to the investigators, but um, it's an active line. It's being manned, and we, we encourage people to contact it. You're going to be left anonymous. I understand people um, get concerned during this time, but you don't have to provide your information. All good? All right, guys. Thank, Thank you all. Thank yes. You so um, if anything new comes up, I don't anticipate anything on camera, but if anything new pops up, then I will, um, I'll send out a, an email to everybody. Okay. <clears throat> um, if I don't have your email directly, please let me know, um, and I'll get it that way. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.